I got to thinking in 2-5. I said, you know what? The Giants make some sense for Russell Wilson in my mind. Brian Dable, the head coach for the New York Giants, he has shown the ability to develop quarterbacks. Josh Allen, he developed him exponentially. Daniel Jones, he allowed Daniel Jones to look like a competent quarterback, allowed Daniel Jones to play so well that he convinced ownership to give Daniel Jones an 80-plus million dollar deal. Brian Dable has stability. Brian Dable is a coach who will now have the same system in play for the third year in a row. This is not a new offense, not a new coach, not a confused coach, a coach that has proven he can develop quarterbacks. So if you are Russell Wilson, the first thing you got to do to five is ask yourself, can I go to a place where I will be good? Not necessarily the team will be good. Can I go to a place where I'm not embarrassing myself? I actually think the New York Giants is a brilliant location for us because Brian Dable is one of the best quarterback developers currently coaching the game of football right now. You know the NFC East well. Do the Giants make sense for us? I'm going to say yes for a couple different reasons. One is, when you don't have a lot of options, who are you to say what you need, what you want? Mm. If, if the Giants want to get Russ, go get there. Go, go there because you need options because you don't have options. The second thing is, I think it would be a good look for Russ because I think they will take a, a rookie quarterback, right? And I think Brian Dayball is so good where he can kind of grow and groom that young quarterback because they need somebody for the future. They need somebody that's a franchise quarterback. And there's a couple of them in this draft that can get. I think if you get a guy like Russ as a bridge guy, he can teach him a little bit, show him the things he's experienced in his league. Uh, and then another thing is the money part where you don't want to spend too much on a quarterback and Russ is not expensive right yeah. now because you need so many weapons for the, the uh, Giants. They, they need so much help. Offense, defense, linemen, wide receivers, running back now. Like, I have so many holes that you, you got to get a, a cheap quarterback to fulfill your, your roster. So I like the Giants for them. Um, I, I, the best move for me would be the Steelers, but I don't mind the Giants. Really, really good, well coached. No. <laughs> and no no for both parties. W where are they going? Like, 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 where are you going? You get Russell Wilson, where are you going? You win two to three more games. You're not going anywhere. The only thing Russell Wilson possibly can do is win you a couple games at the end of the season. If you win, you might make it into the playoffs or something like that. Maybe help keep Brian Dayball's job if, you know, the next couple years this thing looks like the way it looked last year. We can all raise our eyebrows, but if this thing looks like it did last year two years in a row, People gone. Russell Wilson is not about to help fix nothing that the Giants have going on over there. They do not have offensive pieces. You're about to lose your best offensive player in Saquon Barkley, right? You just lost your defensive coordinator. You don't got big-time pieces on the defensive side of the ball. This team is not going anywhere. As for Russell Wilson, this is an opportunity for him to revive his career. Why would you want to go to New York and possibly look worse than you did in Denver, especially even team-wise, then choose a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers. I know we say Russ can't be choosy, but he really can because you are getting him for pennies. So it's going to be some suitors out there knowing that you are going to get Russell Wilson for cheap. But when you talk about the Giants, this makes no sense for both parties. If I'm Dayball, how can I go get one of these young kids in the draft to be able to be my quarterback for the next 10, 15 years? Not Russell Wilson come out here and play like he played in Denver last year. Because that's all we asking from Russ. And then you're still in the same situation you're sitting in now with a high draft pick again next year. This makes no sense for both but, parties but, in my opinion. But what about the, the Russ teaching a young quarterback, though? Same way they did with Patrick Mahomes. Same way they did with a lot of different quarterbacks. But my thing is, I would just let the, young, let the young quarterback go. You're not going to win anyway. Let the young quarterback go. I could see if you were like a Jordan Love or Aaron Rodgers or something, like your team is about to compete. You need a veteran to come in there, your team compete, make the playoffs. The young fella can That's not the Giants. They're not going over. This is a bad football team, a very bad football team at that. Yeah, all, all, the, all the teams in New York are bad football teams mm. right now. <laughs> this is not a good idea for Russ. I understand why the Giants would want him. If I'm the Giants, I would love to have Russ. You already have a sunk cost in Daniel Jones. Dayball can definitely make Russ better. He, he's shown mm -hmm. the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. They don't really have a lot of stuff going on right now. Bringing Russell Wilson in will give you some, some buzz, some positivity. Maybe he can make some plays. He can kind of compete in that division. Mm. Sure. Like, for the, from the Giants' perspective, this is a great situation. And you could draft a quarterback. Maybe you do sit him behind Russell Wilson. But if I'm Russ, why am I going to the Giants? This is not a good situation. This is not a good roster. They are not winning right now. They haven't won the division in 11 years, I think. Yeah, something like that. So they're not in a position to win right now. Russ has to win right now. Russ needs to go to a place that is ready to win right now. And when I say win, I don't mean a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I mean compete in the postseason. There's not that many teams that are in that position in the first place, and the Steelers are one of them, and they're interested. Yeah. So I, I think that 
the Giants only make sense from the Giants' perspective. If I'm Russ, I want no parts of having to go to New York City and be the savior of the New York football Giants. No thanks. <laughs> I already did that in Denver. It went poorly. And while I do think that, I mean, not even a question, Dave is a better coach, obviously, than Nathaniel Hackett, Dave Bowles still establishing what he's got going on there because they, they've struggled as well. And he's got to rebuild that roster and put together an identity for what their future is going to be. So I don't want any parts of that if I'm us. Here's where I'm at with it, though, is everything the Giants offer, the Steelers don't. And everything the Steelers offer, the Giants don't. So I think it depends on what you want if you're Russ. Because offensively, the Steelers don't offer you any stability, Russ. They don't know who their offensive coordinator is. It's Arthur Smith. But who has Arthur Smith developed? Taylor Heineke, Desmond Ritter, Marcus Mariota, Ryan Tannehill. So who has Arthur Smith developed at the quarterback position? If you go to Pittsburgh, Russ, you're the weak link. If you go to the New York Giants, Russ, you can be the savior. If you go to Pittsburgh, Russ, I don't know that you'll develop, but you'll be on a really good team. Why does if Russ you, need to develop? Yeah, Because he hasn't played well in the last three years. So if you go to a, the, the, the Giants, at least you have a... He hasn't played well in the last three years. But, I mean... I mean, three years ago in Seattle, he got hurt and didn't play well. He played good last year. Two years so, ago, he played, he played last year, and I'm not... You can't say Russ needs to develop. So, That's, I'm, I'm, I do not trust Russ with Arthur Smith. I would rather trust Russ with Brian Dable. But I don't trust anybody with Arthur Smith. I haven't seen Arthur Smith develop any quarterback. So if Russ goes to Pittsburgh, and I think Pittsburgh is obviously a more competent franchise than the New York Giants right now, but if you're Russ, I look at it, James, to some degree, like when you went to the Raiders. Yeah. Now nah, y'all didn't necessarily win, but you had... 112 targets, you had the most catches you ever had, and what do you want out of life? You, you, you want to go ball individually, or do you want to be on a better team, and you're still probably not going to win it all? But why would ball Russ ball, why would Russ ball individually in New York? Do they have a better roster than Pittsburgh? Don't have a better roster, but they're going to lean on him more, because obviously we know But we know Pittsburgh that that's what Russ, that's doesn't when Russ do. doesn't do well. But that's what Russ always wanted to do. That's the dichotomy. Remember, y'all. The last two years, Russ can't do it. That, that's, that's what he's shown us the last two years, that he can't do it. That's why I say, I wouldn't even got off the plane. What you mean? To New York. This, this, don't, this don't make no sense. But Brian Dable's a genius. So if you're a quarterback and you got a quarterback whisperer, a coach of the year two years ago, yeah. Yeah, and you coach. got a, uh, an incredible quarterback developer and you're a quarterback, but, you want to play but for But that's it, so. though. We've talked for hours and hours about how Russ needs a great team around him. He's not the guy that's going to go in and drag a team to the postseason. He's not the, going to be the catalyst of it. He is going to be a... The, the, the piece that doesn't mess things up, yeah. the piece that adds the extra play here and there. I the agree. Giants have an empty cupboard. He's going to be like, he's like the thing. Like, he's like, you, you cooking this with every meal. Like, he's, he's the rice. <laughs> like, there's no extra stuff. You're just getting rice, and you'll be, you'll be full, but that's not going to get it done. Not when you've got, you know, somebody else bringing Mastro's to the table every night. <laughs> this is not the same thing. So I, I'm not saying that the, the Steelers are the, the perfect situation, but when comparing to the Giants, they have a more talented roster, mm -hmm. they have a culture, they have a much better coach, they are in a position to... But it depends if you're Russ. You feel me? Like, they have a much better coach in totality. Mm -hmm. But if you're Russ, you look at Brian Dable and say, Brian Dable can do more for yeah, me but than Arthur Smith is a, Arthur Smith is not a... He's been a head coach. Like, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say Arthur Smith is completely incapable of coaching. <clears throat> James, I don't want to cut you off. No, you're good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, just, just looking at Russ, because you, you talked about Russ a couple of days ago, and you said you don't know if it's the right fit for him in Pittsburgh personality-wise. Yes, sir. And all that type of stuff. So you don't think he's going to get ate up by the New York market? Number two, we're talking about Russell Wilson like he's going to play five, six more years at a high level. He said eight. He said recently... I know what he, he says. Eight. I'm racing shady because I got confidence in myself. I understand <laughs> what he's saying, <laughs> but what we watch it... You know what I'm saying? That's like me going out there raising shady and he dusts me and I come in here next week like, come on. No, no. We know what you are right now. Right now, Russ probably has two good more years at him, out of him, right? Especially with people giving him opportunities to be a starter. You better go to some place to where you can ball and at least try to get three or four more years out of it. You go to Brian Dayball, even if he plays well, he might play for two more years and Russ going to be out of the league. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.